Two years ago, we were brand partners at IAC Bangalore for a conference called as Immunocon. Now, I'm sure many of you got benefited by watching its free live stream on Biotechnica's YouTube channel. But after that conference, repeatedly I have been getting this question from many of you that how can we become a successful immunologist in this world? Now, the answer to that is pretty straight and simple, but there is a big but here because many of the people get stuck in the loop. So this video, this video will help you get out of the loop so that you don't get stuck into academia, you actually become a real immunologist who works in industry, okay? So if you are someone who really wants to become an immunologist and wants to know from scratch till the top how exactly you succeed, so this video is for you. Now, first things first, nobody can deny that the right academic foundation is the real ballpark to becoming a successful immunologist. That means BSc in biotechnology or BTech in biotechnology or life sciences or biochemistry or microbiology is sufficient. Now, apart from that, you can also go for a MSc in specialization in immunology or biotechnology or microbiology or biochemistry, any of these. Now, apart from that, you could also do MSc in molecular biology as well. Now, coming forward to the next step. Now, this is something which is mandatory to become a successful immunologist. You will have to do a PhD. Now, in all my videos, I have said, if you don't want to do PhD, it's up to you. But if you want to become a successful immunologist, there is no other way you will have to do PhD. Now, if you want to do PhD, then the only ideal way to become a PhD in India is a uh, CSIR net exam which you have to write every year in the month of December and in the month of June this exam is conducted you have to write this exam you have to qualify this exam more than 85,000 people will write it you have to be in the top 500 to secure a seat in top research labs as a PhD student now if you want to go abroad for immunology PhD yes that is also possible now the pathway to that would be very simple you have to first do your bachelor's and master's and if not if you're done if you're doing a BTEC you don't have to do an MTEC you can straight away go for a PhD. Now there you have to do some mini projects in India or any other uh, country wherever you are right now and do that project in immunology, something which is, which is um, applied immunology and then go for a PhD. Now, having said that, in PhD, you have to choose the right specialization. See, immunology also has a vast amount of specializations which about which I'll be talking towards the end of this video, which specialization you should choose from. Now, the question is whether the industry, is there any industry which will absorb me? The answer is yes. There's a huge vaccine industry which is there, which will hire you as well as CROs will hire you. Why exactly you should go or you should not go is, see, immunology is a heavily lab driven and uh, work driven research driven um, uh, job so higher degrees is mandatory and uh, you get jobs in hospitals vaccine companies and research institutes now what kind of techniques or skill set you have to learn during your masters as well as PhD in fact actually in the masters also it, only you should learn flow cytometry ELISA, Western blot, cell culture, immunohistochemistry, anti antibody engineering, uh, vaccine development concepts, and Im immunotherapy basics like CAR T cell therapy and monoclonal antibodies you'll have to learn. Now, apart from that, you should know that immunology also is going towards AI and bioinformatics. So recently we had a news that a company has developed antibody without even going and doing any kind of lab work right inside a computer. So even AI driven immunology is coming up. So we have bioinformatics for immunology. This is a very powerful tool which you can learn. AIML for immune response prediction. You can learn that. Clinical data interpretation, NGS and transcript transcriptomics analysis, statistical analysis using R and Python. All this you will have to learn. Now, why we have learned all of this, you have to do some mini projects in some CSIR labs, ICMR institutes, DBT supported labs, National Im Institute of Immunology, CCMB, NCCS, AIMS Immunology Labs, private companies like Serum Institute of India, Jubilant Biases, Biocon, Sinjin, all these will provide you with these uh, hands-on experience or hands-on projects which you can do temporarily. Apart from that, CROs like IQVIA, Paraxel and Covans also offer internship opportunities. Now, 90% of the candidates who 
get in immunology during in their masters and phd never get out of it they never end up in industry they get into the academia loop so this is a one word simple subtle blunt uh, you know statement for all of you please don't get stuck in academia academia will never pay you the amount of money which you can earn in industry so here is a fact here is a blunt truth you should know if you are thinking that you got you know addicted to the academia environment going and doing research getting um, uh, you know funding from granting bodies that addiction will not take you anywhere you'll have to get out into the industry now coming to the specializations which you have you should choose see actually Im uh, immunology is all about disease biology so the more disease biology you know the more immunology you can build upon so you, you have the biggest investments which is happening in the industry as of today in immunology is cancer immunology that's number one the second is vaccine immunology something which is being practiced cancer immunology has not been done yet so there a lot of money is there vaccine immunology it has been done yet it's being practiced so you can go in that then the third is infectious disease immunology a lot of money is being invested in viral immunity epidemiology tb malaria dengue so you can get in there the fourth most in demand immunology specialization you can opt for is a autoimmune disease research such as rheumatoid arthritis which impacts the old people type 1 diabetes and many such diseases now apart from that there is something called clinical immunology where you can work in hospitals diagnostic centers transplant departments and that is also in demand that we have uh, uh, the next generation of uh, jobs coming up and that is called as immuno ai that is predicting immune response using machine learning so you are not actually injecting the vaccine you are predicting using the data which is available so that is a new age uh, specialization which you can do now the question is what is the step by step process you have to follow see first is bsc msc in biotechnology or immunology if you get in masters fine if you don't get doesn't matter finish up the life science or biotechnology and then do some small projects okay once you've done these small projects go ahead and apply for internship for 3 4 months in uh, some training lab or uh, some uh, immunology heavy lab and then go for uh, some research assistant role in as a jra for a srf in these uh, csir labs publish one or two papers and then do phd in india or abroad now abroad phd has got a higher weightage when it comes to immunology but india phd is also not bad so of course immunology phd anywhere is actually very good so phd's are strongly preferred then post phd please don't get into the stuck into the pathway of post doc and then a loop academy a loop instead go for industry apply for research scientist apply for clinical immunologist apply for vaccine rnd scientist immunotherapy scientist car t cell therapist and biotech startup uh, you know advisor or consultant these kind of jobs you can get easily now the salary which we will get starting will be around uh, 3 lakhs for a masters bachelors um, will obviously get even lower but when you go for a phd it starts at 6 to 7 lakhs per annum goes up to 15 lakhs per annum as you grow in a, you know as a experienced scientist it will go up to 35 lakhs per annum but when you achieve the top industry roles it will exceed 50 lakhs per annum also now i have seen head of uh, vaccine departments and various companies getting up to a crore also so that's a huge responsibility and a huge leadership role where you can get now one important thing probably i have uh, missed to inform or uh, tell you in this video is once you're doing a phd or while you're doing a phd publishing paper is very very important in peer reviewed journals so while you're doing your phd try to publish two to three papers in the journals become a, a part of uh, immunology society of india and various other uh, you know societies so that you are updated you can build your own network and you know present 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 that's something you should know please don't get stuck into academia the only way to get out of the academia is doing the project then going and presenting it in conferences and networking with the industry professionals finding out where are the jobs and then applying and of course you can utilize biotechnica's platform also to apply now the question is which are the companies which will hire you number one will be serum institute of india bharat biotech biological e zydus panacea in research crr you have syngene biocon research immun immunal therapeutics jubilant biosis iqvr parexel they hire frequently now when it comes to government institutes nii ccmb icmr labs and aims is hiring frequently for immunologist now the question is what is the future is there any money in this yes a lot of money is there but it is a longer learning curve you can't get in without a phd so 
If you want to get into immunology, you need to learn CAR T cell therapy, rapid vaccine development, AI in uh, immune prediction, chronic disease rise, uh, biosimilars and monoclonal antibody. Um, you have to understand and the boom which is coming about that. Im autoimmune disorders are increasing day by day, so even their immunologist will be required. Personalized medicine is coming, there also immunologists will be required. Stem cell therapy is coming, that is there also immunologists will be required. So overall, I feel immunology as a subject is going to grow. As an immunologist, you'll grow with the advent of computer science and AI, ML and bioinformatics, it will even explore. But there's a longer learning curve. You can definitely get in faster if you do an AI, ML uh, training at Biotechnica and any other place also. But remember one thing. Uh, without CSI net, if you do a PhD, getting into immunology is going to be a tough task. Please don't do that. And if you want to prepare for CSI net, of course, Biotechnica is always there to help. Multiple other avenues which we'll explore in the next video. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to us and I'll see you soon in the next one. Till then, keep shining. Take care. Bye-bye.